in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 10 ways to protect your energy. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to protect your energy, then just keep watching. I just want to say quickly that I'm sorry for my hair. It is freaking soaking wet. I just got out of the shower. And if you have curly hair, then you understand the struggle. But my hair is currently drying, so sorry. I wanted to make this video because I have been going through it lately. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy and when you're pregnant, you have so many hormones that just smack you all the time. So yeah, I've been going through it and I've also been just really sensitive, I guess, to situations going on in my life. So I've been trying to read a lot of like self-help books, read, listen to a lot of self self-help podcasts, watch a lot of self-help videos, just, you know, self-care in general. So I wanted to share with you guys 10 things that I found that have helped me protect my energy, protect my vibe, whatever you want to call it. So the first thing is let go of things you can't control. So this is something that I've always struggled with, always, like my whole entire life. My mom has always told me, stop worrying about things that you can't control. Stop worrying about things that haven't happened yet. Just let go. Enjoy the present moment of your life and just be thankful for what you have right now. I know the feeling of wanting more for yourself and also feeling like you can't have more. So things that you can't control, like for example, the way that I feel during this pregnancy, I know that it's only temporary. Like I'm not gonna be pregnant for the rest of my life. Like I'm only gonna be pregnant for three more months. So there's nothing I can do about that. So just letting go of it and not tripping about it because there's no point of stressing yourself out about things that you can't control. Number two is avoid comparing yourself to others. And this is so hard because I feel like with social media, everybody does this. You go on Instagram and you see all these girls and you see their perfect life or you see these celebrities or YouTubers or whatever you look at and you compare yourself to them and think like, wow, why am I not that pretty? Why doesn't my body look like that? Why doesn't my face look like that? Why is my skin that clear? Why am I not in a relationship like that? And you compare yourself to other people. You can't do that because you're just going to hurt yourself and everybody is different and what makes you unique is you. So that is your power. Being you is your power. So. Stop comparing yourself to other people because you're not doing anything by doing that except hurting yourself. Number three is keep your faith larger than your fears. So whether you're religious or not, I think that it's important to have faith that life will get better, that things will get better. And being scared is not going to do anything for you. So you have to overcome whatever your fear is, whether it's, you know, applying for a new job or ending a relationship that you're in or any a friendship that you have just whatever it is that you're scared of you have to just try to overcome it and just have faith that you're making the right decision just always go with your gut number four is don't do anything that doesn't feel right so you know what feels right what doesn't feel right if you're doing things because other people are telling you to or because your parents want you to but it just doesn't feel right to you always listen to your gut and do what is best for you because only you know what's best for yourself remember that number five don't be afraid to spend time alone now this is something that i have had to do a lot the last six months is spend a lot of time alone and i feel like that's part of the reason why i've been feeling the way that i feel because i'm lonely a lot and when i don't have my son you know all my friends are adults we're adults now we all have jobs a lot of my friends have kids a lot of my friends are in relationships, so it's just like everybody has their own thing going on and I feel like I'm just kind of by myself and I feel like I've had to make the most of it and embrace being alone because it's not bad to be by yourself and I feel like a lot of people think that it is, but sometimes you have to be alone to really get to know yourself. Number six, avoid gossiping and bashing others. Now, we have all have done this before. We've all talked smack about somebody. We've all you know made fun of somebody or whatever just stop try your hardest to stop because what you put out into the universe comes back to you so next time you talk bad about somebody think about would you want somebody to be talking about you like that 
probably not so just try your hardest to not talk bad about other people number seven speak kindly to yourself and to other people just be a nice person you know it's not that hard just treat other people the way you want to be treated that rule was taught to us in elementary school the golden rule and it's so true you know just treat other people the way you want to be treated because if you're doing something to someone and like i said right now before and you wouldn't want somebody to do that to you then don't do it to other people because you know it's just not cool number eight is please yourself before trying to please others so in other words do what the makes you happy if you want to be an astronaut then be an astronaut do what you want to do life is too short to worry about what other people are thinking about you what other people want you to do what other people think is best for you because like i said you are the only person who knows what's best for you so do whatever you want to do that is going to fulfill your happiness you don't want to look back on your life and say wow i should have done this i should have done that i should have done this but i was living for my parents or i was living for my family i was living for you know other people do what makes you happy because if you're happy then the people around you will be happy even if they don't see it right away if you continue to do what you want to do and prove other people wrong then you will be successful in your life and other people will see that so just do what makes you happy number nine stay away from people who drain your energy and I cannot emphasize this enough and I've realized uh, this year a lot of people don't have the best interest for me and don't want to see me succeed for example I had a friend and we were like having a conversation over text and I had said something about along the lines of like that I want to retire my parents by 2025 which is in you know five years from now and a lot can change in five years a lot can change in a year but that's just one of the goals that I'm working towards and he was so negative about it he was like he was like how are you gonna do that don't you have to you have you know you have to be making this amount of money and blah 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 and da 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 and he was just so negative and I just oh like it just literally drained my energy it made me mad and I was like you know what I don't need people like you in my life because I want to have people around me that are uplifting that are like oh my gosh like that's so cool that you want to do that even if you don't think that someone can do something telling somebody that they can't do something what is that doing for you you know so if, if it's vice versa if somebody tells you that they want to do something and you think like wow that's impossible don't tell them that like that's so rude like just believe in other people because you would want people to believe in you so people who do that to me i just immediately just cut out of my life because i i can't and then he ended up telling me that he liked me a couple weeks later and i'm like why would i like somebody like you like why would i why i wouldn't so just be cautious of what you say to people because yeah i just can't deal with that type of situation so if people are draining your energy just move on with your life you know number 10 is ignore any opinions that don't enhance your life that kind of ties into the last one and if people don't believe in you then screw them who cares you know you don't need anybody to believe in you except for yourself and that is something that I've had to really, really work on the last few years of my life and just know that other people think about me has nothing to do with me. Like that's their business. If people don't think that I can do something, I don't care. I really don't. I really have to put myself first and I have to do what I want to do, what makes me happy and you have to do what makes you happy. So if people are giving you opinions that are not going to benefit you then just take it with a grain of salt and just ignore it because those people most likely are not happy with themselves or don't believe in themselves so you have to believe in yourself and people who spit out negative energy and negative vibes you don't want those people around you because they're just going to bring your vibrations down they're just going to bring your energy down and they're just going to make your life not the way that you want to live your life so surround yourself with people who believe in you that encourage you that want to see the best in you that want to help you succeed 
that's something that's so important for me like I know that my next relationship I don't know who it'll be with I don't I don't know if I've met my future boyfriend or husband I don't know if I'll meet him in the future or whatever but what I do know is that he's going to be somebody who believes in me and somebody who encourages me and vice versa that's how your relationship should be and that's also how your friendships should be so always do what's best for you I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you guys for watching. My name is Harmony. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe before you leave, just down there. Also give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in any way because that helps me so I can see that you guys like my content. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.